I'm doing that 24 hour fasting. It's not a challenge. It's just something. Tiger Lily Squad, what's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? Before we get anything started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that subscribe button. Tiger Lilies, we made it. We are past 10K. Who are we? But the views are kind of low, so I'm thinking it's because you guys do not know when I'm posting videos and your notification bells are not on. So work with me. I'll work with you. We're going to get this thing popping. So today is, um, I'm doing, like you see in the title, I'm doing that 24-hour fasting. It's not a challenge. It's just something I feel like I need to do. I started doing keto, but I slipped a few times where I've had pasta and rice, and I just slipped. Your girl slipped. So, um... Mentally, I just wasn't, like, I was focused mentally, but job, I just been working like a dog at work, and I just been so tired, and then when I get home, I really don't want to cook anything. <sighs> I just want the fastest thing available, and the fastest thing is not keto-friendly. Let's keep it a buck. So, um, April 1st, is tomorrow actually today is march 31st that's crazy march is over so i'm gonna do a 24 hour fast i'm also gonna record some videos so um i'm gonna take y'all along with me throughout the day it's not gonna be much but i just want to kind of do this because i've been doing a lot watching a lot of videos and a lot of people have been saying how um I'm sorry, saying how the 24-hour uh, fast has really helped them and kick their body into ketosis, which I don't use any of these strips, so I won't know if I'm actually in it, but it just helps you restart your body, and when you start early the next day, you're all set and ready to go, which is perfect because today is March 31st, so when I start keto again, or, like, continue with keto but be more focused, it will be um, April 1st. So I've been doing keto for a month now, and it has been the lazy keto. It hasn't been the strict, um, to the point keto, no cheats, no nothing. So I will be doing that in April. And really focusing because... I realized that I can do it. I thought it was more harder than it was, but usually when I cheat is like when I'm sick or um, when I'm just really tired. But throughout the rest of the time, I'm just sticking to my guns and eating what I'm supposed to be eating. Um, so yeah, uh, today's affirmation is... Your purpose is greater than what you think. Your purpose is greater than what you think, chica. You think that what you're doing is a waste of time. You think that what you're doing is not helping anybody else. You think that what you're doing is just another um, niche on another belt of the same thing that is going on with other people. That has nothing to do with you. That's your own mindset. You need to get out of that. And I'm speaking to myself when I say this. And I'm speaking to whoever needs it. Get out of it. Your purpose is greater than what you think. It is. You might not see it right now. You might not see the millions of people that you're, you're affecting in a positive way. Your business might not be jumping off the way that you thought it would be jumping off. But it is helping the people 
that it is helping, that it, that you're touching in this time. Stop worrying about all the, the other things. Stop worrying about it. Yes, it's hard when it's like, oh, your time will come. This will happen when it's supposed to happen. It's hard to hear that. I get it. But it is the honest truth. It is the honest truth. So repeat after me. Your purpose is greater than what you think. Uh, all right. <laughs> so I have a bottle of water right here. Oh, oh, Jesus. I have a bottle of water right here. And this is basically all I'll be drinking all day. This or tea. Kroger. Nothing special. All right. Let's get this started. And then I gotta... Let me show y'all my house. Okay? This is we family. Y'all not gonna judge me, right? Right? Okay, let me show you my house. Wow. What a, see, I mean, she knew. As long as I had fruit. Now I'm on my um third bottle of water. I'm eating a piece of gum. I don't know if that qualifies as breaking a fast. I don't feel like it should. Because that's like the only thing that I'm eating. But I feel like my breath was feel tasting weird. So I needed a piece of gum. This is sugar-free gum. So guys, I'm really sick so <laughs> I'm gonna cheat just a little bit I'm still not gonna eat anything but I'm gonna have some chicken broth um. <laughs> I just I ran out of tea and all that stuff. So, <laughs> uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because it helps speed me up into ketosis because I've been eating crap the uh, first couple weeks of me on ketosis. So, I want to speed me going into ketosis by doing a, a 24 hour fast. I don't necessarily think this is going to stop me from getting into ketosis faster. Um, so, I'm not going to have any food, but I will have liquids that doesn't have a whole bunch of stuff in it, which is water, tea, um, coffee, but. Uh, I don't have any tea, so I'm going to just take the broth and try to, like, go to sleep because I'm just not feeling well, guys. I thought I could, like, stick this out, but I'm just not feeling well. <coughs> As I sit here... Just talking to my friend about like how I don't think I'll ever find love and how just how I've been feeling. I just I come off the phone with her and I go on Instagram because I'm not on it. I haven't been on it all day and I see that fucking Nipsey Hustle was shot and dead. Like, fam, what? And the reason why I'm so emotional about this because I don't know Nipsey Hussle personally. I have not followed his career. Like, I know about him. And I learned a little bit about him over the last few months and seen, like, all the positive stuff he's been a part of and, like, the entrepreneurship that he's been a part of and the love that he has for his girl and his kids and... I'm just like, yo, man, life is so fucking short. Like, bro, like, for real, life is so fucking short. And we take every fucking thing for granted. In a blink of an eye, everything could be down. Everything could be done. 
And that's what makes me sad is like people take people's lives for granted. They do dumb shit without even a thought in the world. People live life every day without a care in the world or just quick to give up on dreams or quick to not tell that person how much they love them or just want to hide away from a relationship because they they feel like they're not ready, but they never know that could be their soulmate or they not push for that business because they feel like it's going to fail without giving themselves the fight and chance. In a blink of an eye, fam, you could be gone. A family member could not be in your life anymore. My prayers go out to Lauren London the whole Nipsey Hustle family. Because let me tell you something. This man was just on social media yesterday at a basketball game. Cheering and rooting for great stuff. And today he's in front of his store and he gets shot and killed. What the fuck? Listen, y'all, stop taking life for granted. Go out there and do what it is you got to do. Tell that person you love them. Forgive that person. Don't hold on to stuff. If that job is not suiting you, start looking for another one. Get to your happiness. Do what you got to do. Stop waiting for somebody else to do stuff for you. Stop waiting for the other shoe to drop. Ay, ay, ay. This world, yo. Father, bless us all. Pray for us. Guide us. Forgive us. Lead us down the right path. This is crazy. Uh, crash course. Let me have the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the curb.